Hello and welcome to our weekly look ahead at the markets here at markets.com and first up uh, in the week after Christmas we have uh, PMIs, manufacturing PMIs from China and the US on Monday. They're going to be very closely watched to see uh, just to what extent there's any bounce back in global factory output. China and the US of course have been embroiled in the trade war and it has hit manufacturing numbers but we have seen signs of recovery uh, globally as well as specifically in the US and China. So these numbers are going to be very important for uh, risk sentiment and signs that uh, maybe there's a pickup in global growth happening. Uh, we will also be looking ahead to the FOMC minutes uh, from their last meeting when they left rates unchanged. But it may, the minutes may offer some indication about where the Fed stands on its inflation outlook and uh, potentially how uh, some of the members, the new members who will be joining the voting side of the FOMC, uh, how they view the market and uh, inflation and where interest rates should be. So they will be uh, closely watched in what is otherwise a fairly quiet week for data. Again, we'll have some reduced trading hours around New Year's Day, so keep your eyes open for that. And then finally, in the UK, we'll be looking at next. Uh, it's uh, Christmas trading update, always hotly anticipated. It's the bellwether for the UK high street. And we'll be looking to see whether or not it's been uh, a Christmas to cheer or uh, one of complete woe and misery for uh, UK retailers, and many of which have been suffering under the weight of Brexit uncertainty, as well as consumer uh, spending restraints. So next PLC trade, trading update on Friday, that'll be the the key one and that will set the tone for the following week when we'll get a, a batch of other retailers updating on their Christmas performance. But otherwise that's it for the moment. Uh, we wish you a very happy new year and a prosperous 2020. Thanks for watching.